I don't do well past 9 p.m. Like, no. Burping up lavender oil. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. Happens every time. I'm doing Karak. Interesting name. Got it back into the word limit. I'm really overthinking his outfit. <laughs> Could not have gotten through the past year without her. Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday today. Wow. Sorry again about the morning gym car park lighting. It is quarter past eight. I have just finished up a lower body session. Um, honestly did not have a lot of motivation to be in the gym today, which was strange. I thought I'd be excited to come back. Did a workout nonetheless. Wasn't my greatest, wasn't my worst, but they've like moved some of the equipment around in the gym and I couldn't find all of the things that I wanted to use in my workout. So I feel like towards the end, it got a little bit sloppy and I was kind of just making stuff up. But anyway, we've smashed that out. I have a very busy day today, getting back into everything. I have a bunch of work to do. I also have uni to do. Um, I've got two assignments due next week. Um, because I'm currently on mid-sem because it's like the Easter break so I've got a lot of assignment work to do but um, yeah I think today is gonna be like kind of 50-50 uni and work um, getting some stuff done I want to edit the last video that you guys watched so that that can go up tomorrow and yeah just get myself organized there's a bit going on but yeah we've got the whole day to sit down and sort it out I think I'm also getting my flu needle today at some point and then Tonight I am meeting up with my friend Shona and going and having some dinner. So that'll be nice. And that's kind of my day today. But I'm going to drive home and make some breakfast and try and get some stuff ticked off the to-do list so we can have a nice productive day. I am interrupting this vlog to talk to you guys about a very important day that is coming up and I am here to get you organized because you all know how much I love to be on top of things, how much I like to have presents already sorted in advance and I have got a beautiful idea for you guys if you haven't yet thought about Mother's Day which is coming up in a couple of weeks time. It is no secret that I love my mom and I'm sure many of you guys do as well and whilst my mom has been there for me for my entire life I honestly could not have gotten through the past year without her. She is such a blessing and this is a very special day because it is the day I get to particularly shower my mom with love and gifts and make her feel super special like she should every day. She has definitely shared her love of jewelry with me. Anna Louisa is having a Mother's Day sale so you can pick up some pieces for your mom, for yourself, you can get matching pieces and their deal is buy one get one 40% off. You guys know by now I love Anna Louisa jewelry. I truly back all of their pieces. I wear them all the time. Some pieces I don't take off and they do not tarnish. I wear them in the shower, in the ocean, and they hold up beautifully. I get so many questions about my jewelry all the time and it is always Ana Luisa. All of my earring stacks are Ana Luisa. They are gorgeous. I just put in my lower helix piercing um, and this one is a newbie from Ana Luisa. My necklace as well that I wear every single day. The little flower is from Ana Luisa. It's a gorgeous ring. Incredible quality that you and your mum will both love. You guys know my mum doesn't like being on camera hence why she's not in any of my videos but she wanted me to pick out a few pieces for myself. So my jewellery is inspired by my beautiful mum but I did sneakily get her a little gift as well which I'll show you. But one of the things that I decided to get she knew I wanted a bracelet and Anna Louise have these beautiful letter bracelets. So I got a C for my mum's name. This is gorgeous. This bracelet is also from Anna Louisa. Um, but I just think it looks so cute. And I got that to signify my mum. So she's with me all the time. She is you. And then the other bracelet that I showed you, my mum has been commenting on how much she likes it. So I bought her her own. I'm going to give this one to her. I think it's a little bit thicker than mine, but she is going to love that. And another piece I picked up were these really funky gold hoops. I have so many photos of my mum 
from the 80s wearing earrings just like this and I love them um, and as soon as I saw them we both pointed them out so I had to get them and the last ones my mum picked out were these beautiful earrings that I think are just a little bit different from your normal gold hoops so I'll have a link down below if you do want to pick up anything or have a browse for yourself or your mum make someone in your life feel special this time of year I also do have a discount code which is always in my description it is not applicable with sale um, but any other time if you're watching this and you do want to pick anything up there is a discount code for you as well so happy shopping and enjoy spoiling your mum this Mother's Day with the Ana Luisa Mother's Day buy one get one 40% off sale hello guys it is now five o'clock and I'm just about to head out the door I am meeting up with my friend Shona for dinner we're gonna go have some yummy pasta and catch up it has been so so long since I've seen her like yeah way too long so I'm very excited to see her she always has good energy and I'm just very excited to catch up and see what she's been up to um but I thought I'd show you guys my outfit before I go I am very unsure of it I'm also not wearing makeup because I don't know I just don't want to like block my skin anymore I want to let it breathe so that's the sitch here's the outfit I have this black little crop on which is from Nasty Gal the top is also from Nasty Gal years and years ago um, these jeans are cotton on the straight baggy jeans I'm pretty sure and then I just have my black Berks on. It's a very, very casual outfit, but it's not a very fancy place. So I hope this isn't like too casual. I'm really overthinking this outfit. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. And it's also a little bit cold. So like I wanted to have sleeves, but also I didn't want to be like, you know, over the top because it is only April and it is going to get much colder. I don't know. This is what we've pulled together. Anyway, please excuse all of those boxes. That is jewelry I was trying to organize trying to sort it all out and yeah put stuff away because it's just a big fat mess in here so that's that's for later tonight but yes I am gonna go have dinner meet up with my friend and yeah have some yummy food Good morning guys, it is Thursday today. I have just finished up at the gym. We did upper body today um, and I changed up a few of my like circuits and stuff, which was really good. Feeling good after that, my neck is a little bit tight, which is never a fun time. I forgot to tell you guys yesterday about this. And since it's still ongoing today, I was like, I have to tell you guys. The night before last, so Tuesday night, I fell asleep with my diffuser on. I put my diffuser on every single night to go to sleep. Like it's got lavender oil and like a really calming blend. Um, and anyway, I put it on to go to sleep and fell asleep before it was like finished. And I must have like fallen asleep with my mouth open or something all day yesterday. This is really gross, but I just kept burping up lavender oil. Like it's obviously in my stomach or something. And I just keep burping up lavender oil. And so when I burp, it's like a little bit of like the burny lavender in my throat. And I feel fine, but that can't be good. And <laughs> I honestly just thought it would like go away. But it is now the next day and I'm still burping up <laughs> lavender oil. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. I'm kind of hoping that it does clear, but I'm going to get some lemons and have some lemon water to hopefully like flush it out of my stomach or wherever it's sitting. But how bad is that? Like, I'm really embarrassed to tell you that, but like... It's also kind of like a random story that's like, how did you even do that? Like, how does that happen? Anyway, that's my fun fact, fun story for your Thursday. I have my assignment to do today and then tonight I'm going to handball to do some social media stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much my day today. Nothing crazy. This sweaty girl is going to head home, go and have breakfast, clean myself up and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. It is the start of the Easter long weekend today. Nice and early, I drove home from Pavs early this morning just so that I can come and have a productive morning here um, before we have like family over and have some Easter celebrations. Today we just kind of like get together as a family. Um, but yeah, it's really beautiful weather outside. So excited to have some family time today. I've got a bit of stuff to get done beforehand having my morning coffee um, and just planning out what I need 
to get done this weekend um, because there's a bit going on. It's exciting though because tomorrow we're going to the DMA's concert in Brisbane which will be fun. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to tidy up my office because it's kind of just the chucking ground for all of my stuff. Um, so I'm going to tidy this up and then I'm going to try and edit part two of my assignment today. Yesterday I finished writing most of it, which is good. It's due on Tuesday. So I just need to like edit it and cut down some words, do some referencing and stuff because yeah, some of them aren't fully referenced. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do this morning. day on Saturday. I haven't spoken to you guys since Thursday I think or maybe yesterday I don't remember but yesterday was just a family Easter kind of day. Um, I spent pretty much the whole day with my family. My grandparents came over and just had some quality family time so I didn't pick up my camera but today I have pretty much spent all morning sitting at my desk trying to do my assignment. I've pretty much finished the bulk of it which is really good. I am just fixing up some of the referencing. Um, there was a few documents that I wasn't 100% sure how to reference because um, they're a bit different so I've just got to do those and write those up and I'm just going through and editing it now and making it sound better. I just got it back into the word limit which is good. I had to cut like 300 words which isn't ideal for this assignment. I felt like there was just a lot of different things that I wanted to say. So yeah that's kind of where I'm at. I am gonna do this and then I'll have some lunch and then I've just got a few random things to do around the house but tonight I am going out for drinks I think with a few friends and then going to the DMA's concert in Brisbane so that's my Saturday plans. It is now three o'clock sorry if you can hear my neighbors screaming. I am just sitting down and I'm gonna do my makeup um, and start getting ready for tonight. I've had a pretty random chill afternoon just getting stuff done um, that I needed to get done and now I'm going to start getting ready. I also haven't picked an outfit so I also need to do that and pack my bags. Gosh those kids are so loud. So sorry. I also need to pack my bags because I'm gonna stay at Pab's house tonight. But yeah we're gonna go grab some drinks beforehand, have a little bit of catch up with some people and then head to the concert tonight. And I thought I'd chat to you while I do my makeup because I haven't done my makeup with you guys in a while and I don't know. I just thought let's chat. Weekly vlog is a bit random so I'll just catch up with you guys now. I am feeling very tired for tonight. You guys know I'm not a night owl. I don't do well past 9 p.m. I'm like no. I use the CoverGirl primer um, as well and my foundation. I do get questions all the time about what foundation I'm wearing in videos and it's always L'Oreal True Match. I've been using this for years and years and I'm hoping this shade matches so perfectly. I might need to add a little bit of a lighter shade. Blend it a little better. Look at how cute these little bottles are. I got them when I was in America and I still haven't used them. Oh my god it's going everywhere. It's getting a little bit cooler here in Brisbane so I don't really know what to wear tonight like I don't know what the most appropriate thing to wear would be um, and I've also never been to where the concert is gonna be held um, it's like Fortitude Music Hall I think it's called and it's been around for a while but I've just never had a concert there so I don't really know like what it's gonna be in terms of like aircon and how cold it'll be inside I'm sure it'll be aircon yeah I'm just not sure sorry about that I just did all the boring steps but I was catching up with my mum I just put concealer on these are the concealers I use the L'Oreal infallible I just finished using that I've like scraped everything out of there and the Maybelline master conceal really really good concealers would highly recommend and then i set with the rimmel stay matte press powder which is like an old beauty guru fave and then i just did my eyebrows and i use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in dark brown so i just do that to like outline my eyebrows and i cannot do that with people watching me i don't know what it is but i just can't and then i just go over with like a um dark brown powder where is my brush just to like set it a little bit yeah just to get the color set and then I just brush 
through the front bits just to blend them out. And then I use the Emco Beauty Brow Gel. I don't know what shade this is in. Oh, medium dark. There you go. And I just brush them through and it just makes them look a little bit real. Sets my brows in place. I feel like I, I'm not doing a very good job. What is happening? I love this brow gel. I use it all the time. I actually think I'm going to go in and just neaten up the bottom of my eyebrows i don't normally do this but today i just feel like i need a little bit of neatening up but yeah with the concert tonight i'm a little bit nervous because i am not in crowds very often and i don't do very well in crowds um definitely an anxiety trigger i hate crowds i hate the shops at christmas time like it's just a big deal for me but especially like concerts and stuff. As I've gotten older, it's definitely gotten worse, um, which is an ideal, we get through it. But um, I just hate being in crowded places, like concerts, I have to stand at the back of the room. Like I, I can't do a mosh. Um, I like, I don't know, I just get really claustrophobic. I hate other people's body heat around me. Like it's just, what? Like thinking about it right now, I'm like, mm -mm, not keen for that. So like I have to stand at the back of the room, away from everyone. And I also don't like standing for a long period of time. I just, I don't know. It sounds really stupid when you say it out loud, but like, I don't know. I just like can't concentrate. I'm thinking about like my feet and like, I don't know. So we'll see how tonight goes. Anyway, now we're on to the fun stuff, everyone. Contouring with the Bahama Mama bronzer. I have used this for way too long. You know when you just like, you find good makeup product and you just don't try anything else ever because I mean like it works. Why fix what's not broken kind of thing. I've loved this for a very long time. You can tell from the packaging. I used to be like really into makeup and like trying it out. I used to spend all of my money on makeup products and now I don't know I just stick to the same stuff. Like whenever something runs out I just go and buy it again because I know it works. <laughs> But there's probably better products out there. I just am too scared to go and spend my money on them. Why fix wood not broken? But I really enjoy doing makeup. Like I don't wear makeup as much anymore. But like when I do it, I like taking my time to do it. I'm not going to enjoy that when I have to wear makeup to work kind of thing. But it's a bit more of a effort. For bronzer, I use NARS Lagoon. Oh, sorry, it was the wrong way around. NARS Laguna Bronzer and mix that with Max Global Glow. That's what they look like. And I just kind of mix them together. I don't know why I mix them together, but it works for me. It's a really pretty color. I just kind of do the perimeter of my face, give my face some color. Honestly, bronzer is a godsend. Then for bronzer, I use the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. I wonder if they even sell half these products. I've had them for ages. It's actually really pretty. I never used to use blush. And then one day I actually started applying it and I was like, oh, that's why people use blood. I never got it. <laughs> just makes your face look healthy, you know? And then for highlighter, my favorite part, I use the Hyper Real Glow palette from MAC. Do these have shades? I don't know. But I use like the two on the end <laughs> and I just mix them together. Can't see that at all. Oh, there I see it. Mm, I can see it better over here. Hmm. Life is a game of changing. Now, what am I gonna do for my eyeballs? Will I use this or this? Oh, maybe this is the palette I thought I was using and I was actually using this. Okay. Well, anyway, for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Clara Cosmetics Abu Dhabi palette. It's beautiful. I also got this in the US. I pretty much wear all of these. I just, oh my God, am I gonna, I think I'm gonna regret that. Crap. <laughs> onto it as I used to be, let me tell you that much. Is that okay? Yeah, right, let's just go with it. I'm doing Karak. Interesting name. My basic going out makeup. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just like put it all over my eyes. Flick away anything underneath. And then I'll just put a little bit of that same color on and just go like under my eye. I used to use a bronzer, but I accidentally smashed it and it was like the perfect color. So now I feel a little bit lost when I do my makeup. And then take the exact same color through my crease. And just like blend it out. That's literally all that I do. And then I just put a highlighter on the inner corner. The tricky part is getting them to match. Mm. I think my eyes are cooked. <laughs> and then I just use my highlighter to do my inner corner. I do the exact same colors as well. God, those are children. Uh, uh, uh. Then 
curl my eyelashes. I never used to do this, but you honestly notice what's the biggest difference when you do it. And lately I've been using the L'Oreal, what's it called, Lash Paradise Mascara. Pretty good. Oh, this never looks pretty either. Happens every time, I swear. You're joking. I almost forgot to set my face. Hello guys, so I've just gotten myself ready. Welcome back to my horrible bedroom lighting. It's actually shock. What if I put you here? I'll show you guys what I've got on. I've changed my outfit about four times. Classy. But this is what I've currently got on. Cute, cute. I've actually never worn this top. So, I don't know. Hope it looks okay. I've got my veyers on. Uh, these jeans are from Dazzy, Daisy from the iconic. I have no idea where this belt is from. And this top is from Meshki. It's like glittery. I literally bought this shirt like years and years ago. It's kind of like the end of my like going out on weekends phase um, because I don't go out that much anymore. And I've never worn it. And I thought this is probably as good of a time as any. And I feel like with jeans, it kind of dresses it down. I hope it looks okay. I've just straightened my hair as well. I just need to decide on a jacket before I go. I've got my little daily edited bag. Cute. This is the top that I was going to wear. It is from Zara, um, but it is long sleeve and I was just a little bit hesitant to wear it because I know that I can wear this definitely as it gets cool. I mean, it's only April, so I can definitely wear this going out to like bars and stuff later. Um, whereas this, I thought, let's just get some wear out of it. It's, it's been a few years. Oh yeah, I don't know what to wear. I was going to wear a white jacket, but I feel like with this, it looks a bit stupid. Yeah, okay, no to that. But do I do like a leather jacket moment or is that too much? I feel like it's a bit too much, to be honest. I don't know. Is that too much? <laughs> the only other jacket option I have is just like a white denim jacket. This is from Princess Polly. Actually, all these jackets are from Princess Polly. I feel like this is a bit more casual, but I don't really know what the venue is like. You know what? Let's just wear this. Yep, okay. I'm making an executive decision. Anyway, I'm going to put this camera in charge because it's about to die. And if I do get any clips tonight, I'll just film them on my phone. But yeah, I'm going to go out for some drinks. Go to DMAs and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. fresh PJs, the house is clean, everything is fresh for a new week and there is honestly just no better feeling. And for the rest of the night, I'm honestly just going to go hang out with my mum, watch some TV and eat some Easter eggs because it's Easter. Happy Easter everyone. <laughs> I also like reorganised all of this area today with like new plants and stuff. You guys can see that. I've been loving being on my plant Instagram, the happy little fig. And just talking about plants, it just makes me happy. I love looking after plants. I'm really enjoying that at the moment. I will quickly show you guys what I bought from Bunnings today. I've just like popped it up in the bathroom. But I got a little hanging plant. How good it looks. So I got like the little macrame hanger. And then this is a neon poppers. Just beautiful. And it fits in really well, I think. So yeah, this is all looking very nice and clean. And then my bedroom, I have fresh sheets on fresh PJs. This is all clean and reorganized. I have a few more plants 
to add in there that are currently downstairs or I need to find a saucer for. Yeah, this is what it's currently looking like. Let me turn the light on. I'll give you guys a quick update if any of you guys are interested. So I've got my little poppers here. She is doing very well. And then I have my little satin poppers here, which is actually getting quite long. Look how cute the little leaves are. And then my philodendron Brazil here. I've got another poppers that's going quite well. Another baby poppers. I always forget what this is called. I really need to research her because I actually had like a bit of a dead vine that I had to cut back today. So yeah, that's where I cut it back. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Marble Queen. Look at her leaves. She's stunning. And I've got her like trailing along here now. Um, my philodendron Birkin thriving here. Another Monstera Swiss cheese. I love how luscious she is and she looks so cute in that pot. And then I've got a little pothos here. I get the name of this philodendron. Um, and then we've got another Swiss cheese, another Swiss cheese, Marble Queen. This beautiful philodendron I have put in here and it's got some new growth. We love to see that. And then my Zanzibar's on the floor. I got this for my birthday. I don't think I actually showed you in the last vlog. Yeah, I got that from my mom. And I've got this. Look how beautiful this plant is. It's not focusing. It looks better when it's open, but they, it looks like little purple butterflies. And then this is a Philodendron Brazil cutting. Look at that. And my velvet pop is over there. I think tomorrow I'm gonna film some more plant updates and stuff. Cause I love just talking about plants and yeah, I want to um, bring a few others up here. So I think I'm going to do that and I'll put that on the Happy Little Fig Instagram page, which is just a fun little Instagram page where I post all my plant stuff um, in case you guys are also interested in plants. I'm going to end off this vlog here and I will edit it for you guys ASAP. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you've had a lovely Easter weekend and a lovely past week so far. A reminder as well about the Ana Luisa sale um, that you can also find the link for in the description because Mother's Day is creeping up and you guys know they're my absolute favorite and jewelry just makes everyone feel special. I love it. Yeah, stay safe, look after yourselves and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye guys.